Hi guys, welcome to Pointy Dot Sharp. Today we're taking a look at a commercial Ukrainian uh, bayonet frog or AK bayonet frog. So as you can see, it's in the Ukrainian camo, like their digital digi camo. And on the back, we've got a strap and a couple of loops so you can molly it onto a belt or vest or whatever you've got. But what makes this really interesting is this strap along the front. I like this quite a lot. So usually, AK bayonets have like a leather belt loop frog like this that just clips onto the back of the scabbard and it has a um, hilt strap as well. This side's snapped off. But um, they were made a very long time ago, due to age, like this one here, they're starting to deteriorate, break, and they're not particularly great either. Like they're dangling from your belt, they get in the way, uh, when they jiggle around, they make a bit of noise, not ideal. So it's interesting when you see what a couple of different countries have done when they've come up with their own uh, systems to adapt to uh, the AK bayonets. So this Ukrainian uh, example here isn't the only um, one around. There's also like Lithuania, they do them. And there's a couple others as well. But this strap here, what it does, actually, I'll use this one so I can show you, is it goes through this bar at the top. So the scabbard is actually sitting backwards like this. So at a moment's notice, you can just undo the Velcro, pull the bayonet out. It's stuck a bit because of the wire cutter. And you can get your scabbard out nice and quick so you can use the wire cutter while this is still connected to your belt or vest. Uh, getting it back in isn't as easy, like it slides in well enough, but um, as you can see, the size of this Velcro piece is a little bit wider, so you got to sort of squeeze it and push it, and it's a little bit fiddly. Ah, probably not something I can do on camera terribly well, but let's be honest, if you're putting it back in, you're not going to be in a hurry. You've got all the time in the world, you can probably just stash it in a pocket or something like that until you need to. In all honesty, you probably need like a, a pen or something to be able to push it through because it's really quite fiddly. You need longer nails than I've got. There we go. So that's my biggest complaint is getting it back in. And another complaint actually is uh, putting the bayonet back in the scabbard. As you can see, it pushes the scabbard down through the frog. So you just want to grip it and stick it in. Other than that, really good system. I like it quite a lot. Um, I haven't fitted it to a vest or anything like that to try it out. Um, they're really cheap. I got this one for about 10 US dollars or something like that, even cheaper. Um, I got it from the Prof1 Group website in Ukraine. So they, they ship from Ukraine. Um, the postage was pretty expensive, but I got a bunch of other stuff that kind of offset the cost a little bit. Like, I got a couple of these because I'm probably not ever going to get them again in case I get more AK bayonets. I've got spare frogs and they're just cool. And I also got myself a um, pair of trauma shears and a new pistol lanyard for when I muck around the army reserve. And I've got this little flag here as well, which I thought was pretty cool. Anyway, cool little product. Um, I like it quite a lot. I've looked and looked and looked and I haven't seen any photos of Ukrainian soldiers actually using these, but it looks like it's part of what they call it, their base system, which is a series of equipment that's um, approved, I believe, for use. But looking at Ukrainian soldiers, there's like very little standardization across uh, web gear. Like you look at a photo of more than one Ukrainian soldier and they're not wearing the same gear. Everyone's got their own unique stuff. It all appears to be a bit custom. Some guys are wearing very, very old stuff. Some guys are wearing very, very modern stuff. And when they are carrying knives or bayonets, it's never bayonets. It's, it, it's always just some commercial knife uh, on their shoulder or on their chest. I have not been able to find a single photo of one of these in use. And for that matter, I can't find a single modern photo of a Ukrainian soldier carrying this style of bayonet or a bayonet at all. Uh, from what I can tell, they just don't even bother. 
that's probably why we're getting the um, the cut down ones really cheap on eBay because they're just no use for them. So get rid of them, surplus them. Anyway, that's all I've really got to say about uh, this frog here. Really cool, I liked it a lot. Uh, I'll chuck a, a link to the website in a comment on the video um, so you can pick them up if you want them. As I said, the initial purchase price is only about 10 US dollars, really cheap, but the postage was a bit of a rip off and they don't combine the postage. So I bought three of these and I had to pay three individual sets of postage instead of combining it into one. And they weigh virtually nothing. So absolute rip off on postage. Anyway guys, that's all I've got to say and uh, thanks for watching.